Today I'm going to reveal to you all the secrets of the duck jibe. It's time to take your windsurfing to the next level. If you're struggling to make your first planing jibe, the duck jibe might just be the solution for you. Welcome back to the channel of the Windsurf Coach. But before we start, October 1st, 2023, block it in your agenda as I'm gonna do an Ask Me Anything session in Almere, the Netherlands at the Vandenberg Surf Shop. After the session, if there is wind, we're gonna hit the water. During this session, you can ask me anything. And of course, we're gonna talk about technique. We're gonna talk about gear and we're going to talk about tuning. Let's get back to the duck jibe. What gear should you bring to make it as easy as possible to get your first duck jibe in? First of all, the board. It should be easy to turn and you should be comfortable on it. Of course, a wave board, freestyle board or a small free ride board is normally the best choice, but anything that's comfortable for you on which you can easily plane and turn will be good for you. Then the sails, very important. They should be small, they should be light, have no cambers. Try to pick a day with flat water, if possible with wind that gets you planing easily, but not overpowered. And of course, to get the duck jibe in your system before you hit the water, watch the video a few times and do some pre-exercises or light wind exercises on the beach or on a big floaty board on the water. Just take a small a light sail, a four square meter sail or five square meter sail on that big board or on the beach and practice those hand movements to get from one side of the boom to the other by ducking the sail. But that's enough talk for now, let's dive in. I'm gonna start with a quick start and afterwards I'm gonna explain every little detail of the duck jibe and reveal all its secrets. Let's start by giving you the quick start so you can get going. First, you need to come in with quite a bit of speed, unhook and get low, bend those knees, then switch the sail in front of you, push it out of the way towards the nose and then pull it again over your head. And finally switch your feet and power up the sail. Just remember the extensive explanation will follow after the quick start. Okay, one more time the quick start from another angle. Come in hot and low. Flip the sail in front of you by pushing it towards the nose, then pulling it over your head. Finally, the exit. Switch your feet and power up the sail again. But let's get into detail. Let's really zoom in on the duck jibe. The extensive explanation will consist of three chapters. The preparation phase, the duck itself and the exit phase. Part 1. The preparation phase. Let's start with a view from the top. Let's look at it in slow motion. Head slightly downwind. Pick up some speed, slide that backhand further back, unhook and get low. Back foot out of the foot strap, place it in front of your back foot strap on the downwind side. Put pressure on that back foot and continue carving. One more time at normal speed. This time the onboard shot. Pick up quite a bit of speed on a slightly downwind course. 
slide your backhand back on the boom and unhook get low back foot in front of the foot strap on the downwind side put pressure on that back foot and continue carving part 2 the duck and I will start again with the view from the top and although it's called a duck jipe you actually don't duck but you just switch the sail in front of you keep the rig forward and away from you so arms more or less straight Slide that back end further back. Now at the same time release your front end. Slice the, your sail into the apparent wind. Now reach as far back as possible on the boom with your old front end. Release your old back end. Pull the sail over your head and at the same time reach as far as possible to the front of the new side of the boom. Now let's look at the duck from another angle. And remember, we're not gonna duck, we're gonna switch the sail in front of us. After the preparation phase, we're gonna keep our arms straight and the rig pointing in the direction of the nose of the board. At an angle of approximately 45 degrees downwind we're gonna duck the sail. Now release your front hand and slice the sail into the apparent wind. So push it towards the nose with your back hand. Now you really want to reach far back onto the boom with your old front hand. At the same time release your old back hand. Pull the sail over your head and get to the front side of your new side of the boom as quickly as possible. Ah, I see you're still watching. Fantastic. That means that you like the video. So share the link below with a friend. So later on you can practice the duck jibe on the water or on the beach together. It will definitely help you to make the quickest progression and it's much more fun. Part 3 will be the exit of the jibe. If you do it right, you can sail away planing and that's the aim of course. After the duck, you'll have the sail right in front of you. Now look past your mast into the direction of the turn. Switch your feet by taking your front foot out of the foot strap. Place it next to your back foot and immediately place your old back foot in front of your new front foot strap. Power up your sail, get low and sail away on a broad reach.
from this angle it's easier to see the foot switching after the duck. So after the duck you will have the sail in front of you. Pull it already to the new side. Look past your mast into the direction of the turn. Switch feet, front foot out of the strap, place it next to your back foot, hold back foot in front of the foot strap. Power up by sheeting in and getting low on a slightly downwind course and sail away. I'm sure you will love the duck jipe once it's in your system. And of course, don't forget the Ask Me Anything session, October 1st, 2023 in Almere, the Netherlands. Stay tuned to the channel as the confirmation will be here on the channel as well. Please let me know what you think about the video in the comments below. And of course, if you liked the video, leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel of the Windsurf Coach so you don't have to miss out on any of the action. Whether it be windfoiling, winging or windsurfing, you will find it here. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the water.